Nature, beaches, and wildlife are some of what draws visitors to Sanibel Island. As you drive over the Sanibel Causeway, you can almost feel yourself begin to relax. The busy roads of Fort Myers, just 30 minutes away, transform into small two-lane roads as you drive through the lush vegetation to beautiful beaches, wildlife preserves, and funky restaurants. You won't find typical high pressure on Sanibel. Life here is about living and slowing down. Let's explore some of the best places to visit in Sanibel Island. 1. Sanibel Causeway This three-mile-long causeway provides vehicle access to Sanibel Island, but it's also an impressive sight. The roadway rises up 70 feet over beautiful San Carlos Bay and offers views over the aquamarine waters. The causeway consists of three separate bridges and in between, you'll find Causeway Islands Park. The park is spread over two islands A and B and has sandy beaches and is a popular place for stand-up paddleboarding. There is a one-way $6 toll for traffic heading towards Sanibel. Portions of the causeway were destroyed by Hurricane Ian on September 28, 2022 and reopened on October 19, 2022. 2. Sanibel Lighthouse The Sanibel Island Light was one of the first lighthouses on Florida's Gulf Coast north of Key West and the Dry Tortugas. The light, 98 foot above sea level, on an iron skeleton tower, was first lit on August 20, 1884, and has a central spiral staircase beginning about 10 feet above the ground. It is located on the eastern tip of Sanibel Island and was built to mark the entrance to San Carlos Bay for ships calling at the port of Punta Rasa across San Carlos Bay from Sanibel Island. The grounds are open to the public, but the lighthouse itself is not. In 2022, Hurricane Ian severely damaged the station, destroying both keepers' houses and all of the remaining outbuildings. The tower lost one leg, but was still standing as of September 29. 2022. Sanibel Lighthouse was relit for the first time following Hurricane Ian in the early morning on February 28, 2023, symbolizing the hope of Sanibel Island after the hurricane. 3. Sanibel Causeway Beaches These two narrow islands are located along the Sanibel Causeway, which reaches from Fort Myers to Sanibel Island, named simply A and B in the order they appear from the mainland. Together, they total about 10 acres of sandy beach that are easily accessible from the road at several spots. Drivers can pull off almost anywhere on either island, from either side of the road, and as an added bonus, there is no parking fee. If the wind is up, you'll likely see kiteboarders and their colorful kites high in the air racing back and forth across the water. The conditions here are perfect for this adrenaline-fueled sport. With shallow warm water, consistent winds, and lots of room to run. 4. National Wildlife Refuge Cayenne Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge is the premier destination in the area for seeing nature and wildlife. The visitor center, open to the public free of charge, is a great spot to learn about the ecosystems and animals. To actually get out and see the refuge, Take a 90-minute trip on an open-air tram led by a certified naturalist. These guides know where the alligators, wading birds, bobcats, and otters hide out. If you prefer, you can self-drive the same route as the tram. One of the popular things to do is fishing and bird watching. 5. Sanibel Lighthouse Beach Not only will you find the lighthouse dating from 1884, you'll also find a beautiful white sand beach one of the finest on the island. The beach wraps around a point, with one small section looking out towards the Sanibel Causeway and another much larger and longer stretch of beach facing the Gulf of Mexico. The beach park has picnic tables, large trees that provide shade, restroom facilities, and showers. Also in the park is the Sanibel Fishing Pier, where you'll have a good chance of catching small fish. There are two parking areas, if you are interested mainly in the lighthouse or fishing, use the northern lot. If you are only going for the beach, use the larger southern lot. 6. Sanibel Farmer Market Founded in 2008, the Sanibel Island Farmer's Market is held at City Hall Sundays, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., October through end of May. This open-air market features over 40 vendors including local produce, baked goods, live plants, fresh seafood, cheese, 
pasta, meats, honey, pet treats, prepared foods, organics, and so much more. Sanibel Farmer Market will be closed on November 11 due to Veterans Day event, but will be open on Monday, November 12, also open on Easter Sunday. 7. Castaways Marina The Castaways Marina is very small, but huge in charm and expertise of the fishing captains. Plus, it is serene and beautiful on a small inlet of Pine Island Sound called the Sunset Bay. You can also rent a charming little cottage and practically fish from your doorsteps. Some of the cottages are across the street, right in the Gulf of Mexico. Great place to get some live bait or fuel. Forget it if you have a bigger boat, and especially if it is low tide. You need to know where you are going to miss the especially shallow areas. 